the long wait is finally over. Week one is starting in just a few days, so why don't we pick the games right now? All right, our first game is going to be Buffalo taking on the Rams. Oh my God, this should be a fun game to watch. Thursday night, I would expect a lot of scoring. I would expect these offenses to just explode all game long. And at the end of the day, I got to go with the Rams over the Bills. I know the Rams lost some pieces in free agency. I know the Bills were able to gain some pieces during the offseason. But I just think the Rams are built to win. And I think they're going to win a close matchup, a shootout. And that's how the season is going to start. New Orleans taking on Atlanta. Atlanta has just started their rebuild. While New Orleans is trying to show that they can still compete this year. I think New Orleans is a better team than people are going to give them credit for. And I'm going to go with them over the Falcons. Cleveland taking on Carolina. Oh, man. Baker Mayfield is faced off against his former team. And personally, I think Carolina could get to the playoffs. I think they have the pieces around them. If Baker Mayfield is able to play good football, I think we could see Carolina in the playoffs this year. And I'm picking them over Cleveland, who's not going to have Deshaun Watson for the first 11 games because of a suspension for all the field issues, which I'm not even going to talk about because I'd be here all day. San Francisco taking on Chicago. San Francisco, I think, is just a better team than Chicago. Even if Trey Lance doesn't have a great performance, I think they have more than enough to beat Chicago. And with that front seven, Justin Fields in that offense might have a tough time all day long. Pittsburgh taking on Cincinnati. Cincinnati, the surprise team last year, got all the way to the Super Bowl when everybody thought they were still a year away. Just goes to show you things change in the NFL rather quickly. And speaking of change... Pittsburgh is not going to have Ben Roethlisberger for the first time since 2003. It's been that long since they've had him. And I'm going to go Cincinnati over Pittsburgh. I think Cincinnati has a lot to prove this year to show that it was not a fluke. And I think they get that done week one. Philadelphia taking on Detroit. For Detroit, they're in the middle of a rebuild right now. Can't wait to see what Aiden Hutchinson does in his first NFL game. But I'm going to go with Philadelphia. I mean, get A.J. Brown. I think Jalen Hurts is a breakout candidate this year. I think their defense is going to be just fine. Give me Philadelphia over Detroit. Indianapolis taking on Houston. For Indianapolis, they got Matt Ryan. They're trying to get back to the playoffs. For Houston, they're just trying to build a team. I'm going to go Indianapolis over Houston, but both of these teams have a lot to prove this year. New England taking on Miami. This one is one of the closest matchups. I could see it going either way. I know Miami is a thorn in Bill Belichick's side, but I think New England squeaks out a close win in this game. Baltimore taking on the Jets for the Jets. It looks like Joe Flacco is going to be facing off against his former team. But I'm still going to go with the Ravens on this one. I think Lamar Jackson's got a lot to prove. This receiving core has a lot to prove. I think the secondary is going to be able to rebound after last year. Give me Baltimore over the Jets. Jacksonville taking on Washington. A tale of two really bad teams last year. And teams, I don't know how much better they are going to be. Jacksonville, of course, just broke the free agency market with all the deals that they got. And then we have so much controversy surrounding Washington with the new name, with Dan Snyder. It's, uh, it, it was just nuts. Uh, but I'm still going to go Washington over Jacksonville. I think they're the better team right now. Giants taking on Tennessee. For Tennessee, Derrick Henry is back and healthy after suffering an injury last year. And for the Giants, this is going to be Daniel Jones' last chance to show he can be a franchise quarterback. And I think he's going to have a tough time against Tennessee. Give me the Titans over the Giants. Kansas City taking on Arizona. A tale of a team that has had some changes all over the offseason. And a team that's had a lot of controversies over the offseason. For Arizona, DeAndre Hopkins suspension. Marquise Brown getting into trouble with speeding. The Kyler Murray contract situation for Kansas City. Trading away Tyree Kill. Dropping those two rookie defenders in the first round. The whole Orlando Brown situation. A lot happened during the offseason, but I'm going to go with Kansas City over Arizona on this one. Raiders taking on the Chargers. Oh, man, I love having divisional matchups week one, especially when you're talking about the Raiders knocking the Chargers out of the playoffs and getting it into the playoffs because of that game for the Chargers. With the last two seasons, Justin Herbert has turned out to be a great quarterback. They have a very good offense. They improved this defense. There's no excuses. They've got to get to the playoffs this year. And for the Raiders having to deal with so much during the season and still making it to the playoffs, that was a great story. And as for this game, I'm going to go with the Chargers over the Raiders. Another divisional matchup, Green Bay taking on Minnesota for Green Bay. The whole thing with Aaron Rodgers, 
Devontae Adams getting traded. And then with Minnesota, you still have the question of whether Kirk Cousins could really lead this team to the promised land. I'm going to go Green Bay over Minnesota, but really nothing would shock me with these two teams. Tampa Bay taking on Dallas for Tampa Bay. Tom Brady retired, then unretired, and then missed some time in training camp with some personal things. While in Dallas, still some craziness happening. Tyron Smith's going to be out for at least until December, and just a whole bunch of question marks for that team right now. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay over Dallas here. And our Monday night matchup, Denver taking on Seattle for Russell Wilson. He's going back to Seattle for the first time since being traded over the offseason. This should be an interesting game to watch. At the end of the day, I'm going to go with Denver on this one. They could be a surprise playoff team. As for Seattle, it might be a long season for them, and we're going to see more change coming from the Seahawks rather sooner than later. All right, guys, those were my picks for week one. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you guys next time.